So we have a new video. This young man wants me to leave Islam. This is an open letter to Kareem Matwali. Now Kareem, I do honestly think you are a nice guy who means well. I really appreciate that. Yes, I am. I don't want you to feel ignored and I really took this time to respond to you because you were very polite and, and you were very eloquent. So there's no reason for me not to respond to you. But the reason why I feel the need to speak against you is because I feel like you propagate this rather dangerous myth that Islam is a religion of peace. Why is it dangerous when I say that Islam is a religion of peace? It is a religion of peace, but it's also a religion of reality. I could just bring some of the verses that preach love in the Quran right here on the screen. You play a game of mental gymnastics to convince yourself that Islam is still good and promotes good. It does promote good. Just because there are people who do bad things because of it does not mean that it promotes the bad things. What about the people like me? What about the good people out there who have done so much for society? There are a lot of Muslims who contributed to the sciences of the world. You say that you'd like to have a positive outlook on religion, and I feel like this is because, like I said earlier, you were raised into believing that Islam is good. I would assume you were raised to believe that religion is bad, or maybe the things around you have convinced you as such. For me, I was raised to believe that religion is good, and the things around me, even though I see everything, I'm not blind from everything, I, yes, I see all the terrorist acts, I see everything, and I, and I know that, but I still do see the good in life and in religion. Now, why is it that you want to force me astray from my religion, yet I'm not forcing you to join the religion? You know what I mean? I would imagine you should go make this video and send it to someone who is forcing people into the religion. Because if you are saying they're following the true Islam, then how about talk to them and see what they are going to say about it? Because apparently to you guys, I'm not following Islam correctly because I'm not killing anybody. But we can't kill anybody. It says it. It says it in the Quran. We cannot kill anybody. And we are taught that if we kill one human being, it's like killing all of humanity. If we save one human being, it's like saving all of humanity. Why do people forget that good stuff in there? You said later on in the video that you don't steal or trick anyone because of Islam. Now this is very worrying to me. I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but you seem to be implying that if you were not a Muslim, you would steal and trick people. And if the only thing preventing you from doing so is your religion, I wouldn't consider you to be a moral person. Well, if you don't consider me to be a moral person because I said Islam makes me a good person, then what about the laws that make us good people? What about our parents when we grew up and they raised us? You know, I can say the same about you. Forget religion. What about your parents when they raised you? If it weren't for your, uh, your parents, would you be an immoral person? If it weren't for the laws that you're following and the laws that are set forth for us, would you be an immoral person? I mean, do you see where I'm getting at? It could fall in any of those examples. So, one of the greatest things I found out about Islamic banks is that they don't charge interest. Which is great because it doesn't keep you in debt and you have a chance at a better life. Now name me any other big banks out there that are not Islamic that don't charge interest. I'm waiting. There's none. It is good that you want Muslims to be able to leave Islam in peace. And as much as I respect this, the punishment for leaving Islam in the Islamic doctrine is death. This is where a lot of people make a big mistake. It does not say that you can get killed for leaving Islam in the Quran. It is nowhere in the Quran. I don't care what Islamic doctrine you're talking about, but in the Quran it does not say that. When you go towards the hadiths, you have to be careful because there are some unauthentic hadiths. And there's also a line from a verse in the Quran that says, وَمَنْ فَالْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ فَالْيَأْفَعِ which means that if you want to be a mu'min and follow Allah, do so. If you don't want to follow Islam, then do so. You're free to do so. So with all that being said, I think there are two options you should take. Are you serious? <laughs> You're giving me an ultimatum? Two options that I have to take. Alright, let's hear what they are. The first option is to still consider yourself a Muslim, but realize that Islam is not a religion of peace. And realize that it needs reform. Accept that the Islamic State actually is Muslim and that they are following the Quran and Sunnah of Muhammad and seek to reform Islam.
I'm sorry for the first one, I'm gonna have to disagree, especially with Islamic State. I cannot consider them Muslim because they're not following the Quran. You know, they're killing innocent people. And in the Sunnah of Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam, that also is wrong. So, no go with the first one. Option number two that I suggest is, in my eyes, much more intellectually honest, and that is to leave the religion of Islam altogether. Now, I realize this may be extremely difficult for you to do, but if you want anybody to talk to, I am always here. I realize I'm pretty much a nobody on YouTube, but if you need it, I would love to talk with you and help you. If you do ever decide to leave Islam, I hope that your friends and family will still accept you, and I hope that us on the non-religious side of the camp will accept you. That is never gonna happen, I'm sorry. I'm never leaving my religion for anything or anyone. It's, it just can't happen, bro. It's like, you know, it's a belief, it's my lifestyle, it makes me happy. Why should I leave something that makes me happy, that makes me feel fulfilled? You know what I mean? Why this ultimatum? Why are you trying to push me away and force me into another direction? You know, what happened to freedom of religion, freedom, just freedom in general? Your name is Freedom Angst. So why can't I have the freedom to practice my religion freely? Now, you aren't a nobody. That's why I responded to you because you are a very smart kid and I respect you a lot because I love your, the way you write and the way you speak is just, it's absolutely amazing and I could definitely be friends with you and I hope we could be friends, not that I have to leave the religion to do so. Why that separation that you just created of the non-religious camp and the religious camp? Why can't we just coexist, love one another and learn from another and, and just grow? A person who has no religion will never see things that a religious person sees. And a religious person will never see things the way a non-religious person sees things. I always push forth this that we need everything. We need all types of people. You don't want to follow religion, more power to you and do your thing. But don't try to force me to do the same because I'm not forcing you to do what I'm doing. For the two options, I'm gonna say, sorry, it's a no-go. Because if I gave you two options, here is my option. Respect that this is the reality and the world that we live in and Islam is never going to go away and it's going to be here to stay. That's one. Or the other one, join Islam and, and, and test it out for yourself. Read the Quran and, and if you like it, go ahead. This is just two options in, in, in lieu of what you gave me. I never tell anyone to join Islam. I never try to push anyone towards joining Islam. I love people when they do things out of their own will. I appreciate your time and um, you don't have an ugly face, bro, okay? So stay cool, stay awesome. I hope you continue watching my videos, and to everyone out there, please don't ever feel forced to do anything. Don't let anyone force you into religion. Don't let anyone force you out of religion because I'm seeing that a lot of these people who don't have a religion are kind of extremist in a way, and, and they're try, you know, trying to push me away from religion, similar to how radical Islamists try to force people into Islam. So, you know? I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's a weird world, you know. It's we're all human, and I think a lot of this uh, ideologies that we're playing for here is because we're human. I, I don't think has any, religion has to do anything with it. I think it's our human intent. With that said, thank you again. Peace, love, and unity, and I'll see you the later. Before you guys go, I'm almost about to hit 1 million subscribers on my main channel, Are We Famous Now? So please go ahead over there right now. You can tap the I up there or click the link below in the description box and go subscribe and let's hit that million.